Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is. Don't worry, I try to jam pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. I wasn't sure if the movie was going to end with Batman being kind of seen as, you know, public enemy number one, but, you know, I, I realized, even as I thought that, that even if he did, it would barely, if at all, play into the next film. In this, at least, you know, finally Superman does face some consequences for the choices he made in Man of Steel. And in this, he does not humiliate, humiliate a bully using, you know, as he does in 2, 3, and Man of Steel. Because when you have powers like that, you gotta abuse them to be a petty jerk. The... I don't know if the several horses in this, random horses, were because there were horses in the, you know, the comic, the, the Dark Knight Returns, you know, they, they did some of that same thing in, in Batman Begins, but they're kind of worked. And, uh, you know, it looks like this continuity of Batman will go to the Joker almost right away, meaning too soon, and making him just about impossible to be topped, just as, you know, the first two continuities, and as far as I've been able to tell, Arkham, I only played the first two games because the second one is just such, you know, the first one's great, and then the second one is like, wait, did they, was everything great in the first one completely by accident? So, yeah. And, you know, it's... I thought that... You know, when I read Dark Knight Returns, I did not... I was not sure that they would actually go to... You know, I mean... In, in Superman Returns, they do the thing of my... You know, will, will this thing, you know, kill Superman kind of thing, you know, so I didn't think that they were actually gonna do the atomic blast that they, you know, yeah, but they did here, and it's, I like to think that the, the president just you know, he wanted to go uncredited, that's why we only hear his voice and never see, maybe they couldn't quite figure out, you know, we, you know, should we, you know, I'm, I'm replaying, you know, Splinter Cell Blacklist, that has, you know, basically a president, Hillary Clinton, you know, then you have, you know, other fiction where it's clearly, the, you know, what is it, 20... 2012, where, you know, Danny Glover's the president, so, you know, President Obama kind of thing. It's, you know, they, they couldn't decide which ethnicity and gender, so they just had, you know, and, yeah, just, so, we have a nuke. Pretty sure that that's high enough up that it's not going to kill people. Should we go ahead and shoot a nuke? Yeah, sure, go ahead and just, yeah. And you know, I, I do think that it was, you know, I mean, ultimately, of course, they were going to come up with something that, you know, something that the heroes would have to team up to fight. So, you know, bringing Zod back as a corpse and then turning him into Doomsday made sense. And, you know, here, you know, here when they kill Doomsday, you know, killing Zod is actually for a reason. And I guess given that he spent this movie as a corpse, it's 
understandable that he never cried Neo. And the we don't spend a lot of time with this Wonder Woman, so I don't want to be too eager to say but I do think that they did a pretty good job on her you know it's it's her and Superman are these very you know they're they're icons they're definitively these are good people you know not just superheroes they're they're truly good they are you know and for one thing in action you know films and series today we you know there's this expectation of the gritty and so you don't have this kind of just straightforward good kind of protagonist and the the moment that you have a woman, a strong female character, you know, they're worried that, ah, well, it'll make her look too weak and such. And, you know, I, I was, I, I laughed and was mortified when the, you know, as Linkara Nash and Filmbrain reviewed the unaired pilot of the Wonder Woman TV series and I mean, we don't get a lot of time in this, but she's not... She's not, like, constantly angry and aggressive and, like, just getting into fights and always, you know, and, and cruel and such. And, you know, I, I don't know much about the actress, but certainly... I, I believed each, you know, and, and I want to say that we, we do see this Wonder Woman be very caring and such, but then that's, you know, the, that's one, you know, the, the funeral scene. So in that you do kind of expect, you know, re regardless of the character, they would show a lot of sorrow, but yeah, I... I'm cautiously optimistic. I do think that what we saw was pretty good. That that they didn't completely wreck her character. And if if the you know if the current continuity survives this movie, then I I could definitely see more of I believe she's called Gal Gadot. I could totally see her as one woman in in more stuff definitely going with the last minute notes there the obvious thing is whether or not superman is dead from the moment that they made it appear as though he were. You know, not not at the very start. Not, you know, I mean, in Man of Steel, Zack Snyder did everything he could to make Superman Jesus. I maintain, you know, I'm not the first to say it, but he's more like Moses. He came from somewhere else, and he's he's different but stronger, but and, and he's a role model. And says, you know, Superman doesn't become a martyr so he's not quite Jesus and you know Zack Snyder found the way to yeah I I didn't you know when when the nuke went off and Superman was out there I I wasn't thinking you know I was just like yeah you, know, you can go ahead you know and in a minute or two they'll say oh wait he tried you know I did for that I wasn't even like you know I was just saying yeah let's move on then they started trying to, you know, he does the, he does the stab and the, you know, there's the big, and and then they they say, you know, oh, he's he's dead, 
then I was like, yeah, move on, move on, come on, come on, just do do what you gotta do. Let's let's get to the part where everybody realizes that he's still alive. And I kept waiting for that to happen. And I kept and and you know I I I thought maybe at the end of the credits, you know, there might you know that there was just nothing but you know just some kind but which I don't blame the movie for, you know, not every comic book movie is going to have a, you know, whatever, but I think the movie makes, the movie makes a lot of mistakes. Killing off Superman, even if they do, like, bring him back or something, but actually leaving the movie on the note that, yes, Superman is dead, that is a mistake. You're actually telling people that, you know, no matter how much they loved Man of Steel, you know, no matter no matter how much they loved Henry Cavill in both of these movies, they might not get him again. Or for sure, it's going to be like, it's just, yeah, that's, I can't, I mean, the, the, they're, they're trying to subvert expectations. We all know Superman doesn't, yeah, he's died in the comics, yada yada. Superman doesn't die. And with the... With... We know that that Superman doesn't die, even you know it. Even with like Kryptonite, it takes a ton, and it's almost. Uh, I already mentioned you know Superman Returns kind of thing with you know. I mean, I thought that was corny, like you wouldn't believe in that. As but anyway, when you go into a movie where Superman and Batman fight, you don't expect Batman to manage to kill Superman. Dark Knight Returns ends with Batman apparently dying but he actually faked his death because he knew that was the only way that it could really end that was what would you know make sense and that was you know that would make superman stop you know the the fight was going to happen one way or the other and it would go on until superman thought that he had killed batman and so, so when you go to the movie, you don't expect it to end with Batman burying Superman, but yeah, it's just I I the the idea is that we're you know for one thing there's the you know if we maybe you can have it back if you pay us again if you buy more movie tickets for you know, this continuity of DCU, you know, will bring him back somewhere down the line or something. And then there's the thing of, you know, you didn't see that coming, but now, now you've met our Batman, now there's going to be some more of the, you know, you're going to meet more of the, the characters of the JLA, just League of America. And then, you know, it's going to, but I don't. I personally think that that fiction, you're allowed to do almost anything you can as long as there's some justification. I don't have a problem in theory with killing off Superman. He's not even like, he's not one of my favorite heroes or anything. Spider-Man for life, come on. But it just feels like it's just. Yeah, I mean, in part it's the Jesus thing, and then it's all, you know, the, the moment that he dove in for the the kryptonite sh spear, you know, I was like, ah, oh, it's, you know, Jesusing again. You know, that's one thing, and another is, you know, this kind of, 
yeah, it just it was it was a gamble, and I really don't think it's gonna pay off because when you do something like this in comics, people are gonna buy them hoping to see them again. You're not necessarily going to get people to buy more movie tickets or for people to say to their friends, you have to watch this movie when you kill off one of the most beloved characters just to, like, you know, and, and then that is supposed to be what starts the JLA because now that Superman is dead, other bad things are going to, you know, I mean, sure it was Lex this first time, but, you know, and, and Lex was the the only mastermind this, this time, you know, everything that, that happened that really needed Superman's action was, you know, had to do with him, you know, right there in this, at the start, Super, you know, Lex was, you know, but, Nevertheless, there there are gonna be more or something, and the, you know, and they need the Justice League to avenge, so Batman can avenge Superman, and it's just, yeah. I think that the. The, what what they did with you know when the moment you have Lex Luthor you expect him to be bold and for this to to end with him going to jail and then them shaving him was actually a decent idea and I do think that it it worked you know he looked sinister you know, and, and then you have Batman there about to brand him, and then, you know, you have this idea of, you know, you know, we heard earlier that some, you know, the, that other guy was beaten to death inside prison, you know, when, when Batman brands someone, it's basically a death sentence, so, you know, he'll be killed in prison, and so, so, you know, he's, it's, it's like, will Batman you know, condemn Lex to death, or, you know, and then he just condemns the wall to death, you know, because I'm not the bad guy, and one way or another, you know, it's, it's gonna, and I, I gotta admit, I mean, when one woman actually used the golden lariat that was really awesome and again i'm not i'm not even a dc dc guy i'm marvel all the way but i mean i'm a comic book nerd nevertheless and you know seeing her use it and and see, you know when you when you think of a tradition oh it's it's you know it's a it's, it's a neat image, but it's not that you know. It's not necessarily cool when you think of like because it's it's kind of a goofy idea, you know, golden. But but when you see it in this and it's working on Doomsday, that was really badass. That is one thing I. If you go into this woman. woman that was Freudian. If you go into this movie not knowing Wonder Woman, you are also going to leave it not knowing Wonder Woman. I don't know why they couldn't have spent just a little bit. I mean, it's, you know, oh, she left the world of men in, you know, about a hundred years ago because of World War One. That was a decent enough little thing. And you know, you you see her wearing the the suit in the the image, and then she wears it, you know. In, in the fight as well, and I'm not saying that you have to really explain much more, you know, clearly she hasn't aged in a hundred years at least, so, you know, and she left the world of men a hundred years ago. Okay, so far so good. That's, it's, it's good to get that established, and I'm not saying you have to explain exactly why, but that's it. We, we just know that she's not quite human she doesn't age 
and she left the world of men and she's incredibly you know she has the shield and the you know that's it we don't know anything i just they should have had just a little bit i mean especially she actually has a presence in the film you know she's she's in several scenes with bruce and then there for the fight at the end and then after you know during the funeral and the whole thing it just yeah obviously there should have been something on this you know but it's, at least we do get you know she looks up the other you know mysterious uh, you know that that lex had you know discovered about and we see you know brief you know cameo we get a little bit of victor stone's origin as as cyborg we get a little bit of footage of aquaman and you know the flash was that the flash time traveling to tell clark because even if you watch the whole movie if you don't know the characters even if you i mean i because he says it is Superman, you have to. Be. Was it either that that was like that he made a mistake, that Flash made a mistake in saying that, or did, it, or is it that he comes from a different timeline where that, or maybe it was someone posing as? But it's just if you if you don't know who the Flash is. I don't know that much about the Justice League. I just I I mean I do, but I was still I, I still left the movie confused as to what that's supposed to like Yeah. And I really liked I mean, I mentioned the the review that the entire climax is cool. From when, I mean, the the titular fight is is okay. I'll I'll get more into that. But from when they stop fighting, the entire climax from that, I would say that the climax starts after that because because I'm. Actually, yeah, I suppose that is part of the the post fight part of the climax. The the everything of the climax that doesn't involve Batman and Superman hitting each other, I thought worked quite well. Batman going in to rescue Martha, and you know Superman, you know the three of them fighting Doomsday together really were you know. Batman heroically dodges. I I remember in in one of the trailers you see excuse me Batman you know beyond you know the the excuse me the wall and then quickly gets away and then the wall gets you know zapped by some kind of ray and like you know you see that in one of the trailers and like Cinemasins was like did Superman just try to murder Batman? You know, it is a little comforting that, oh, okay, that was Doomsday attack. But, you know, yeah, the, the climax, Batman heroically dodges Doomsday's attacks, and Superman and Wonder Woman actually fight Doomsday. And it's just, it's that thing of the moment that you have a superhuman and a, a person, and I'm not one of the people who say that the two don't, make sense in the same basic it's just that batman should probably have been in the batwing or you know maybe maybe fighting something smaller nearby or something but it it really does look silly when he is in a situation that only the superhumans can can really solve but the when they work together fighting you know and just yeah some of the some of the ways that they would attack where she would cut like she would go for the leg for example and superman attack you know 
using the fact that there are two of them so that Doomsday couldn't, you know, he couldn't deal with both of them at the same time. Yeah, that worked really well, I thought. And, you know, Doomsday, you know, he, he, he has a face beam, so, you know, quite like the, you know, what was it, the Destroyer or something in the first Thor movie, and, you know, between his, you know, between Superman's eyes and Doomsday's face beam, it's a face off. And the, when, when Doomsday, you know, when, when he's like waking up, you, you hear the countdown, and when he wakes up, and then he like, you know, and Lex stands in front of him, and he like exhales, and I'm like, dude probably has mad bad breath. He's been dead. And he's had all these weird, you know, experiments done on him, and then he wakes up and takes what probably really reeks. This was as cheap and tasteless with the destruction corn as the the first one. And I do think that actually the the Senate hearing being just yeah, it was a suicide bomb that was especially just that was a new low Zach nicely done you you what, what was it nostalgia chick just just said you you never you never fail to you never fail to disappoint you know you never you yeah you you some something just wow that was that was yeah the you know I mentioned in the review there's very little Batman and Superman there's also very little military you know this is I haven't watched that many of these films that actually do you know I tend to to like the the MCU ones and you know and especially like the Avengers ones and they very much do not have American military helping out and this and like the I mean, Man of Steel and I understand because I do not watch them I have no intention to do so Transformers movies they actually do involve the military and in this they're really just there so that you know, oh, well, we can't do, guess the superheroes are going to have to, is, is that what they do in the Transformers movies? It's, it seems like it sometimes. I, f I feel that's, that's something that CinemaSins also pointed out, that, like, why are the military in these movies? Because they, you know, only Transformers can, can hurt Transformers or something like that. But, yeah, they, you know, they're, they're just there so they can, you know, so the Superman can get nuked, like in the comic, and, yeah. And Batman, you know, he, he uses the sniper. I thought that made much more sense in the comic, but, you know, obviously Zack liked the image, so he put that in here. And then, you know, nope, he's not actually going to shoot that really dangerous guy. You know, you think that, oh, he just missed the shot because the guy went, nope, he's just shooting a tracking device. And then he follows them with the Batmobile. I mean, I it, it worked out. It was a good thing he put a tracker on, but... Wouldn't it have made sense for them to think Batman followed us? Maybe he put a you know he used tracking device. Let's check for that before we you know let's keep driving around until we've made sure you know the moment that they that Batman wasn't on their tail because you know I mean I know that they didn't know that it was Superman we know that but would it have killed them to just briefly say okay he doesn't he's not right behind us anymore. Did he put a tracking device? Because we know he uses tracking device. You know, when he shot the tracking device, I figured, oh, so he's not going to make a big deal out of like trying to chase them down. But then, yeah. I.
I really, the thing about Martha being the name of both mothers, I noticed that months ago when I first looked, you know, when, when you know, you're seeing stuff about the film and it said that, you know, and I don't think it was like highlight or anything. It was just, you, you read the, you know, okay, this guy's playing, you know, Bruce Wayne's father. This, this one's playing Bruce Wayne's mother. And then it says Martha Wayne. I'm not enough of a Batman fan to say exactly what the name, you know, usually is, but the moment I saw that back then months ago, I didn't even write it down because I was like, no, that's too stupid. That, that can't be. They actually wanted for there to be this kind of misunderstanding of which Martha, you know, because both of them have a mother named Martha. And Batman's literally standing there. What are you saying? What does that mean? What does that mean? This is this is supposed to be one of the smartest people on earth. And he's like, I'm the only one who has a loved one named Martha. Just, yeah, I... I And the I I did think that it you know the the thing about kryptonite you know it made decent enough sense that you know they they find that tiny little thing and then you know they they you know Lex finds it and of course he tries to see if it can mess with Zod's DNA and you know, okay, it can, so he finds out that, you know, they found a much bigger one, and it's from the, you know, it was, you know, we, we know that one of the, the world maker machines, whatever, was over the, the ocean, you know, over the Indian Ocean, I believe it was, and then in this, they actually fished up a chunk of kryptonite from, you know, that, makes decent enough sense for how that, yeah. I, I do think, I mean, at the end of the day, basically, it all boils down to Lex wants Superman dead. And one of the things he does is get, get Batman. To, to fight him, and I'm like, why? Why is Batman buying it? Why is when the the frame job of the the capital? Why? It's so obvious. Why would Superman? If if he just if Superman wanted to destroy something, why would he go there himself? Why wouldn't he just attack? It's I guess, I guess the idea is well, Superman was there, and then there was an explosion, so it must be just it. It just it seems so obvious that it was someone trying to make people think that you know, or or you know, hurt people that he cared about, or that you know, yeah, and and I really do think that. The literal jar of urine with the, the, my, I mean, again, I, the moment I saw, the, you know, when, when I heard in dialogue, it was just, you know, ah, she, you know, she's not taking any, she, she, she knows better. She's, she's not buying what he sells, basically. And then you see the, this you know, kind of jar thing standing there, and you see this yellowish, and it's like, no, 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 no. No, 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 it's no, no, no. And then, and then it cut, and it cuts back. And she, she looks and, and then she turns it and she reads it. And it's just like, somebody got paid to write that. And then somebody in the prop department 
did a double take at the. At, at, I'm 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 sorry. I I thought I was working on a a you know a movie for group. I, I'm. Am I working on like a a children's comedy where like so, I mean I mean this is and 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 there it is in the film I I wow I I I legitimately can't I I mean that's if if you if you want to make your film an easy target. For people to to hate it, I mean that's that's it right there. I haven't read like critics reviews yet, but I can imagine a lot of them just point out there is a literal jar of urine in this movie presented as if it were something that someone should drink. I'm that that's just that's that's how immature the the mind. Of, of this but yeah and then you know the the guy who you know had the the limbs you know he he went ahead and suicide bombed and and that's of course you know because Lex said I I want you to have this chair you know this you know this chair yeah you, you know what I'm talking about and you know in reality that one had the actually I guess do we know if he knew that it was going to blow up? But yeah, you know, and 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 you know, distinctly Lex was not sitting there. You know, it was, and that's also like, why doesn't Superman just go and say, "I was there, and I only saw one person not there, and it was Lex Luthor." It's. Yeah, and and it's also just I mean to actually blow up. I mean it's it's one thing to have like a a terrorist attack just for the the sake of the plot and to have it on U.S. soil, and to have it on you know at a Senate hearing. I mean this is this is the kind of thing that like you know. These crazy right wingers just dream of being in movies, and and I know I know that you know a lot of war porn has been you know produced by Hollywood in recent years, but it's still unreal. But the I guess the idea I may have misunderstood, but the basic idea was that. The either he didn't get the checks because Luther intervened, and that further made the you know Wally angry, Wallace, and that further made Wallace angry, or he actually did get them, but he you know was angry, and so he. I mean the 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 red you know. The red text on them, Lex pretty much says that was me. You know, I I sent the the letters to you know the you let your family die. I sent that to 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 Batman and you know so also the one to Superman that sent Superman after Batman and such. But yeah, it's just and. I also just think that it was kind of obvious. I mean, literally, they introduce Lex as I want something that can kill Superman. That's that's right there. You know, it's not it's not a twist that he turns out to be a villain. We're just we're just waiting for the other shoe to drop. We we're waiting for it to happen for him to and so much of what he does is just so obvious how is batman fooled by this how did he not i mean he literally saved wallace how how could he not have you know kept a better eye on like this is this is one of the smartest minds 
he's like one of the greatest detectives and he didn't even think of hey this guy that you know super that yeah let's just go with that let superman injured by not being more careful well yeah superman should have been more careful in man of steel no doubt about it but yeah this you know wallace i should keep an eye on him because i as a detective, as a smart person, as someone who deals with criminals, know that someone losing something, you know, that can that can make them into a criminal. In just yeah. Also, they they you know when when he did the graffiti, they you know they said something about like he made terroristic threats. We certainly didn't see or hear any such thing. We just saw him, you know, graffiti the, you know, and, and you know, false, false god. So, yeah. And the... When the... When Superman knows he has less than an hour to save Martha... He still flies to Lois to tell her face to face what's going on and then flies to, you know, why did he waste some? Does the man not know of cell phones? And the. I thought Lex and and his daddy issues were quite nicely set up. I, you know, I already mentioned that you know you know that he's he's looking to kill Superman. I mean, he says, "Oh well, you know, if you have it, then you can have it as a deterrent. You don't need to use it." But you know, we know from right away that he's, you know, but we don't we don't understand his mind from right away. It's that thing of you know he. He thinks that, you know, it's it's more or less jealousy, you know, that there's this incredibly powerful, you know, being out there. He wants to, you know, he it, it angers him to see someone, so he has to destroy it. Like he says there at the end, you know, the god is dead. That, you know, we, it's it's now been proven that, you know, even someone like Superman can be you know so you know and and early on you know he says you know oh well, my father grew up in east germany so you know he he waved flowers to the the dictators and you know if we don't then maybe we'll soon have to wave flowers for superman the dictator you know and nice little thing you know and the thing of you know like turning the the painting upside down and the the various things that you know there's a lot of good there and you know then it really comes to a you know it it especially hits there near the end when he says about superman you know when 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 i was a child and my father hit me and abused me. I knew that either there is no God, you know, there is no God, or the God there is doesn't care because he didn't stop it, or he cares, but he couldn't stop it. So he, you know, it's it's that thing of and yeah, it's it's that. It's because you, Superman, did not save me when I was younger. So the you know so so you shall save no one basically and and yeah I th if this movie crashes and burns I hope someone recuts this entire thing to just be Lexus scenes and just shows you know and and distributes that because he does fantastic he you know the the performance and the writing and the whole, yeah.
How did Superman know that Lois was falling? You know, it, when when he pushes her off, you know, and the I do think that sometimes they went too far with the, you know, oh, there's this, a pretty little street named Lois Lane, and the, yeah, but the, you know, that's that's why people say he sounds too much like Jim Carrey's The Riddler, but it, I, I guess he was just that close. I, I get that, you know, if you if Superman was close enough to hear it, then it would get his attention. He would go confront Lex, but. I, yeah, how exactly he could, and it's clear that Superman can hear what Alfred is saying to Bruce, but the movie does nothing with it. Like he he kind of watches, but the only thing that really happens with the you know at the at the party is between Bruce. And I actually forget if she had a civilian name, so I'm gonna go with Wonder Woman. Just yeah, you know they they didn't he didn't confront him about that. It didn't seem to go anywhere really. And you know when when Lex you know Lex learns you know about krypton kryptonians because he's inside of kryptonian tech of course because this is a superman movie why if if just the the moment that he you know he gets that that key thing he actually gets it to you know to go in even he could do Lois. Look, that's how it's done. And I did think it was a decent enough twist that, you know, the white Portuguese was a ship and not a person because that genuine when you first hear it you do think that you know that's like and that's that's the leader of this or that thing but then it turns out to be the ship and then it's the ship for the weaponized you know the yeah the the massive kryptonian kryptonite yeah and again the moment that batman realizes that he should be like Okay, Lex and Kryptonite, there's something going on here. I need to talk to Superman. I need to actually have, you know, it's so ridiculous that Batman actually falls for it. Especially this Batman, who's so clearly smart and he's following up on all this stuff. He, he knows, far, the only reason we know so much about the, well, actually... Yeah, anyway, it's just, yeah, and the, the, you know, Nostalgia Chick just uploaded a video where she pointed out that basically, usually, when costumed heroes fight one another, it's because they don't have the conversation that just prevents them from fighting. It's, it's a misunderstanding, and they don't talk, so they fight, and then afterwards they realize what it, this entire movie if Superman and Batman just talked, it, there would no, there would not be a fight. Literally, and, and Superman, he barely even tries. He comes and then he says, no, no, listen to me. And then Batman is like, nope. And Superman just gives up and is like, I mean, if he's willing to kill a Kryptonian for a couple of people he doesn't know and who clearly have very little will to to fight to survive then i guess he is willing to kill excuse me batman to save his mother and i mean his mother does tell him that he doesn't know the world anything so sure he can bring lex luthor the batman's head i did think it was 
you know, decent when, you know, Superman arrives at Lex and Lex is like, nope, too late. And then, you know, oh, but here you can hear the, you know, this is the, this is going to be the, the chef. Get me, what, what was it? Get me the, give me the, the bad news. And then he said, I'd rather, I don't remember exactly the, the line, but, you know, the little thing with, and Lex's, and Lex, of course, just in case he was, you know, he had doomsday, and they of course have to give some reason for it. So you know, Superman, this is your doomsday. You know, Tony, we're Iron Mongers. You know, you have to have that little line in there that you know, no, 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 it it would be an abomination. And the. I mentioned in the review that there are times when when you think that this Batman might be losing his mind. First, the, the origin culminates in him apparently being raised out of the grave that he fell into by the bats. And then you're, oh, but that was just that was a dream and that was of course not real because dark and brooding and world, the world isn't like that. And then you know he's he he goes to the grave, and the you know and we see they make sure you know Zach practically zooms in and says, "See, Martha, Martha." Bruce Wayne's mother's name was Martha. Remember that. Remember, Martha. And then blood starts pouring out there, and suddenly he's attacked by like this you know, man-sized bat, a la what, you know, a scarecrow saw with the, you know, at the, it's just, and, and then he wakes up, wasn't there a, a woman there? She, is she even there in any other scene? I, I guess it's the playboy thing, and then she didn't, you know, and and then he's like, you know, I gotta get something to drink. And then apparently he didn't even leave the bed to get something like that to drink. So it's like, okay, he wakes up and has, you know, and Alfred even says, man, I really wish you'd leave some wine for the next generation. But just maybe that's why he is cracking up like he is. But then, you know, suddenly there's this thing of like the time traveling, I guess, Flash, who tells him that he's doing the right thing. And he keeps waking up and things him. He goes into the, the, the Middle East and there's like this pillar of fire and it's up in the desert. And then like, no, they tricked me. And then he tries to fight, but then he gets taken. And suddenly there are people with wings landing. And then suddenly Superman lands and he goes up and, and he just, you know, cuts through with with the the heat vision thingy, laser vision, cut through the other people, and it's like, it's just, are we supposed to sympathize? With, are, are we supposed, is this supposed to be one of the people that we want? I mean, I just feel like, I, I bet this, Bruce, you need therapy. Turn yourself in. You are going to hurt someone. And that's, I, I just, I, I can't cheer on Batman when I see that in his mind, it's all this. And again, I, I don't think that Zack realized the implications because he clearly, I mean, he made, he, he did do all of these really, you know, out there visuals and, and really nightmare you know, these nightmares that, that Batman has, and then suddenly, you know, okay, so one was just a nightmare, and he woke up, but then suddenly one is like, he's startled awake, or he's like, it's just, I just, I'm like, I, does, does he fully understand, and, and again, like, with, with Alfred, it's like, he, he hears him quote 
Dick Cheney and it's like I mean, I mean if if this is really you need help you just you need help and I don't mind a movie where one of the major characters clearly needs help but I just I are we supposed to cheer for this one? I, I just, I don't want him to go out and fight crime. I want him to get help, to, to get serious help. He really, it's, it's, if, if someone recuts the, the nightmare stuff from this and just make like a, a short movie about how tortured Batman is, that might be interesting. But as part of a, of a film that where we're supposed to, you know, especially that when the movie leaves Superman dead at the end, so Batman is the the one real presence that we're supposed to like. I just, yeah, it's just it's. You know, I realize that it's not the most mature. What when I see that Zod, the corpse, is apparently completely naked, I can't help but wonder if the the you know more than you know just you know that the the whole superhuman thing does that go for the whole physique when Bruce whispers something to the the losing fighter to get him to win you know that's one of those cool ah where we'll never know exactly what he said but batman had something so dark and deep that he could whisper a few words and that would get the other guy to you know completely turn around the fight and beat up that other guy and, you know and we're also okay so we're watching fight club now and again because that's when Zack Snyder sees violence, he wants to make it, you know, like, cool and such. So, obviously, this brutal fight is done with, like, I mean, I get that, isn't Bruce basically there because it's a way to get in touch with the, the, the Andrew guy? I, I'm pretty sure that was, you know, it wasn't really that Bruce Wayne thought that it was a good thing that these two people were being, anyway... You know, and the the guy isn't that the guy who later quotes a song. I I did he actually say to Martha Kent? You know, there's ten minutes left on the clock, so he's gonna barbecue her in ten, and he's like, "We're about to say goodbye, and every time we say goodbye, you die a little." Who thought that that was a good? That's just, that's awful. That's such a terrible, I, I can, I can actually kind of forgive the, the one, you know, it's okay, I'm a friend of Sean. No, I, I, yeah, I, you know, from the cape. That was fine. And Diane Lane played it right, you know. Anyway, you know, Bruce Wayne whispers something to the to tough guy to make it, to turn the fight around. Pretty sure he just threatened him to, you know, make him watch Ghibli. And yes, it is every bit as bad as you have heard. I now I don't know why I did, why I watched it. I I guess I you know I don't know maybe I was dared had to see if it was quite that bad or something. And the. Guess that is what I had. So I guess in closing, maybe there's a chance they'll still put out some of the you know, upcoming jailer related properties. I mean, at the least, Suicide Squad is coming out so soon, so they're not going to pull the plug on that one, I hope. Maybe at the most, 
limited marketing or, or something. But I kind of hope that I'm wrong. I kind of hope that, that the movie does far better than I think it will. And I, I want more of this Superman. I want more of this Batman. I wouldn't mind for more of this Batman to be with less of how messed up this Batman is, but I mean, I like their performances and yeah. If you like this review and want more detailed one, the link is in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this franchise, the links are in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.